how to use layers and groups in Affinity Designer. First thing to do, just create some designs, very basic designs. And I'm just going to create a rectangle. Just going to change the color. And also I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to create multiple copies of that. So hold down the Alter Option key and drag just to duplicate it and repeat that a number of times. Of course, you don't have to create this design. You could create any number of other designs, but this is just going to be a start point for the whole design. I'm just going to quickly align them and also just quickly, nicely distribute them as well. So go down to Layer Menu and Alignment and Space Vertically. So now I've got that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut them. I'm just going to remove them. So Edit Menu and Cut. So now obviously they're in the clipboard, pasteboard. I'm going to create another path. This time something different, not rectangles. Maybe a star or any other shape, rounded rectangle, whatever you want. So I'm just going to create something else. And I'm going to have a different color. I don't want the same color. So you can see the design that I'm going to introduce. So I've just changed the color. Now with that selected, go to Edit Menu and Paste Inside. And now they're inside the container shape, that rectangle. So you can now move those five rectangles around within that. Key panels for this, View Menu, Studio and Layers. So you can see, you can move them around. If you go too far, it's obviously cut off by the container shape. Also what you do, you can hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate them within that shape. And all are still contained within that shape. And you can see you've got all those different designs now, those rectangles. What you can do, you can select all of those rectangles, go down to the bottom one, select them all, and then you can group them. You can right click and there's an option for group. So you can group them. It just makes it easier to manipulate. You don't have to, and you can still expand them out. You can still expand the group out and see all the individual items. What you can do, you can rotate the group within the container. You can also, of course, resize it, etc. You can also, of course, rotate and resize the container itself. Again, you can hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate that group, that group of groups. And then you can select both those and go to Group again by right clicking and selecting Group. So now you've got it all in one single super group. There's the actual container that's still unchanged and you can rotate it, move it around and all of the items within that will rotate relative to that. You can then go and select the group and then you can rotate the group or resize it, scale it separate from the container. And again, what you can do, hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate that. So you can create some very complex designs within that shape. So you don't have to have a basic, just solid fill color. You can have far more complex designs than that. What you can also do, you can go to Layer Menu, New Adjustment, and maybe go for HSL or Recolor, and you can add an adjustment layer just to that group. And maybe just recolor it there. You can just see the thing. The other layers, shapes are totally untouched. It's only that group that's got the adjustment layer. And it's just above everything else. So within that group. And you can still move things around, still move the container around. And you can expand out at any point all of those groups. And also what you can do, you can add an adjustment layer on top of the entire thing. So if you want to, HSL or Recolor, or any of the others, of course. And then I can recolor the whole thing. Now that's right above everything. So everything is recolored at blue. You may or may not want to do that, of course. Up to you. Could turn it into a black and white design by using the black and white adjustment. And that's above the whole lot. So 
got that within that group of right at the top, the container itself. So everything below is now recolored. And what you can do, you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate the container, as well as obviously all the contents, all the various groups inside that. And you can resize the container now. So there's now three top level designs. And of course, what you can do, you can select all of those and group those if you wish as well. And again, you can always expand out one particular one. So all the others completely untouched. So expand out and just maybe double click the adjustment layer and change the color for that single, single container. And of course, you can also go to one of the other adjustments within that group and maybe change that. Of course, because the color is changed completely, it doesn't make any difference changing the hue. But you can, if you want, change various adjustments underneath. And also what you can do, you can select individual rectangles. You can resize it. You, of course, can recolor those as well. You can rotate them as well. And of course, you can also add additional shapes to that group. And you can always collapse it very quickly as well. So you can see you can create all kinds of different designs that are separate from the other containers. And if you want to, you can add additional shapes. So with that shape selected over there in that group, I'm just quickly adding the star. And you see when you've Create it somewhere else, you can't see it at this point because obviously the container is right up the top. So simply use the move tool and drag it into that design. Now you can see it. It was already in the design, but it was obviously you couldn't see it. And you can resize it, and it's all within that group, within that container. And of course, you can recolor it as well. Now, obviously, because of the adjustment layer above, it's all going to look like purple. But you can, of course, lighten it, make it maybe the color, say, like white or something. And then you'll see, obviously, a lighter star design there. And you can select it. You can manipulate the star still. You can resize it. You can also go to the various settings along the top there. There's, it's still a live shape. I haven't turned it into a pixel layer or anything like that. So you can still just change the number of points to it and still resize it, recolor it still. And you can collapse everything at the, if you wish. What you can do, you can select all of those containers, those shapes with all the different groupings, and then go again, right size and group. So now they're all grouped into a single group and they're still, still all accessible, all the way down to those individual rectangles within that structure. So it's a group of a group of a group of a group, but it's still all editable. And what you can do, you can edit and cut. And of course, what you can then do is create another shape, maybe this time another star. And what you can do, you can go to edit menu and paste inside to paste all those designs into that star. Paste inside. And you can see the design there. And if you want, you can move it around, resize it, rotate it, etc. So with it selected, with that, all that design selected, you can just move them around. You can also move the individual elements around as well. So you can go to each of those designs, move them all around. And you can, of course, hold down the alter option key and duplicate again. So you're creating three or four multiple copies of those earlier designs. And you can create 10, 15 copies of that if you wish. And you can build up that, that design. You can also add adjustment layers just to that inner part of the design as well. And rotate it, of course. Or just select the overall container star and still continue to change the number of points. And the star that's within the star can still be modified by simply going to that star and changing the points of that as well, if that's what you want to do. 
you can expand it out and you can see all the structure which you can go to each individual item and change various things say change the number of rectangles change the colors of the rectangles change adjustments and so on and so on so you go to adjustment you see adjustment there double click on that and it brings up the recolor panel and you can then see at the top you can recolor it maybe make it green if that's what you want to do and of course you can also change which i haven't done but you can also change the various blending modes if you wish to do that as well so there's blending modes for all of those items so you can change them maybe to darken lighten etc as well as change the opacity of each of those elements what you can also do you can add a vector brush stroke into the design as well so selecting the vector brush stroke, i'm just going to resize it a bit so it's a bit obviously now you can just quickly draw it now at this point it's on top of the star but what you can do you can i've just undone it there so you could actually see it. it's a bit better i was using my mouse which wasn't the best way of doing it so you can see it's still above what you can do you can drag it in to the design or of course you can just simply edit menu and cut and then go to within there and go to edit and paste inside as well so then it becomes part of that group of that star and you can see the design there as he slightly needs to be dragged up a bit using the move tool and you can see the design there and of course you can still edit the design so you can recolor it you can change the color of the stroke you can also go to the node tool and move nodes around for that thing but it's within the confines of that container and you can also hold down the alt option key and duplicate so you can create a really sort of scratchy unusual colored design very quickly just with combination of these lines as well as all the background as well and again you can apply effects to that line you can modify the line using i say the node tool move it around duplicate it multiple times resize it rotate it and so on and so on and that's all while you're selecting it over in the layers panel and you can go obviously to any of the others designs and maybe add these curves into that if you wish but again it's all still editable i say here you can see i'm modifying it using the node tool and it's all within that structure and then you can just select the entire container again what you can do of course you can now it's all in a single basic solid group you can then hold down the ultra option key and duplicate that so now you've got adjustment layers you've got curves you've got stars you've got rectangle you've got a lot in that shape and also what you can do you can go down to the bottom of the layers panel and you can click the fx and if you want you can add maybe a gaussian blur you can blur it maybe add a bevel maybe add a drop shadow if you do add those i do notice it does make it go slightly slower i wouldn't say it's the quickest as soon as you start adding any of these effects then you'll notice it it's sort of, there is a slight drag in it it's not particularly bad but what you can also do you can go over to the pixel persona and that's in the top left and now what you can do you can apply various pixel effects to it sadly affinity designer doesn't have a vast number of filters in fact it has no filters but it would be nice if it did i bet some people will say no it shouldn't have of course you've always got affinity photo if you want to use that instead but all you can do you can go over to the various tools over there maybe smudge and you can just apply a quick smudge or burn or blur it local blur etc anyway i'm just applying something very rapidly just to show you that you can do something not particularly elegant and you of course you can leave that and go back again to the standard persona now it's a pixel layer you can't edit any of the inner design anymore there's no like smart object feature where you can sort of like do various pixels work on it but it still remembers it's that's it it's gone but of course what you can do you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate and again what you can do 
you can go up to the blending modes and you can use blending modes and you could apply maybe dark and difference, multiply, etc., to those designs. And you can still resize it and modify it. Now you can still go back to the original design, which still has all of the various things that you can modify, such as the curves, recolor, recolor the various other shapes as well. The pixel ones, you can't change anything. So I'm just going to work a bit further, a bit more on that. And you can collapse and expand at any point. You can sometimes actually, one trouble with this is actually sometimes you might find it's easier just to deselect some of the things. So you don't, you get too much complexity sometimes with design. So just selecting things, you're not certain what you're selecting. Well, I find that anyway. It's very hard to see. So you can recolor using those adjustments there. And again, collapse the entire thing. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Finity Designer, Finity Photo, Photoshop, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. I dislike or like. Thank you much.